uh, Tuesday night, a bit of a low today, going out the FA Trophy. They came with a game plan, didn't they? And they scored early and then just literally 10 men behind the ball. Funny old game this is, isn't it? You know, you go from the highs on Tuesday night to the flipping doldrums and despairs of today. Uh, yeah, they came with a game plan, yeah, they sat in. You know, they know we're a good football inside. We failed to break them down. 82% possession, great. Did we do enough? No. And it's not about, you know, standing here and, and, and name calling anybody. You know, as, as a as a football team, staff, players, we haven't done enough today. And, you know, I, I've just said to lads in there that it's not fair. It's not fair because people work hard all week. People work hard behind the scenes to get match day on. You know, so much work's gone into today. And, and what I want is 16 lads to go out there, get to a game plan, run around and, and stick to it. And, and we didn't do that today. You know, the, the guys came out in the forces today and, you know, it's, it's, it, it, you can't take it for granted that we can win football games. I've said all season, anyone can beat anyone. That's not good enough today. That's not acceptable. We're out the trophy. A competition I wanted to do well in. Uh, well done to the visage. You know, we, 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 uh, we failed to kind of adopt to our game plan uh, and we got what we deserved, which was nothing. Yeah, I mean, it was a different team from uh, the one we faced a few weeks ago. So we put four past them and obviously they've been having some chasing uh, results with a lot of goals going against them and they look far more solid today, didn't they? I think the Grucci came out of it with some uh, plaudits. Apart from that, I don't think anyone did. And, and you know, you only have to look at the running stats from Tuesday night to tonight and, and they'll tell you everything that you need to know. Uh, I'm not having we're tired. We had a really relaxed bound session on Thursday, give a couple of lads nights off uh, to get rubs, etc. That's just not us today and certainly not how we've, we've gone about things in the last few weeks. And now we've got to dust ourselves down and, and go again. Uh, the only saving grace, if there's anything, is that it wasn't in the league. Uh, and we're still, you know, a point off the top, and we're going into choosing our action. But we've we've got a uh, we've got a lot of work to do. Yeah, and obviously Morpeth uh, talking about Tuesday, basically they're always going to be a sort of tough proposition because of the way they play. Oh, of course it is. They've, you know, we've had them watch today. They're a fantastic side. Uh, so are we though. So are we. And that's the thing today. Today we wasn't. Even though we moved the ball around, I just thought we forced it in different areas. I thought we could have travelled with the ball more. So we miss Curtis Jones. We steps out of play and kind of gets us high. Uh, I thought we passed it when we could have travelled with the ball. I thought we travelled with the ball when we should have passed it. Just a whole load of things went wrong and uh, disappointing. But like I say, we've got more for the Tuesday. We've got to pick ourselves up, you know, as flat as we feel now, and we do. You know, we ain't got a lot of turnaround. We'll have to have a chat tomorrow. We'll have to have another chat Monday. You know, we'll have to get in and, and put the wrongs right. You know, that's what we're always trying to do. But that's the, the beautiful thing about football is it doesn't always go your way. It's great when you win. It's horrible when you lose. Uh, but it's you know one of the days, and we're going to eradicate it as uh, quick as we can do because things have been really good for the last few weeks. Yeah, I mean, in, in some respects, when you actually look at the chances created, we, tried, we had 11 attempts on target, or 11 attempts on goal, only three on target, um, and it, it, I mean, basically a couple of those three kicks were just whistling past the post, and it, you got a feeling it was it going to be one of those days. I'm not disappointed because we lost to Liversidge. You know, I'm disappointed because we didn't play the way we can play, and yeah, we we're worried we'd create openings. You know, when you've got an attacking front line of Gribbin and and Linney and Donahue and you know Tavongru who comes on, Rodwell, Groundwell, you're going to make chances. You know you're going to do, and I expect us to make chances. And and they didn't create a lot. I didn't think they create a lot, but they stuck on to what they had, and and we just didn't find a way to break them down. Uh, and that's listen, that's with us. That's with us. Well, you know, lads are absolutely gutted in there. They, they, they don't cross the white line, and we don't mean to lose. We don't mean to underperform. Uh, we just haven't hit the highs that we have done the last few weeks, but that's okay because they're still learning. We're all still learning. Uh, and if we learn something from this today, then that I'd be happy. The disappointment is if we don't learn from today and, and we carry on in, in that vein into the next couple of games because Tuesday night's gone, South Shields and your Warringtons and Marines, that's all gone and, and look at it, she's gone now. So we're gonna get ready for, for Morpeth, but but it is a you know, it is a sorry. You know, it, it genuinely it's a sorry because we've got to be better. Uh, you can't say we expected to win, but we had enough quality to win and we didn't execute the game plan and you know Unfortunately, we're out of the competition. Yeah, I mean, one bright, bright point of the game, as you noticed, basically, it was FC Radio Man of the Match. Mm -hmm. uh, it was Jack DeGrucci. Um, obviously, he came to the club as a midfielder yeah. um, and basically sort of like had a couple of sub appearances and then basically started as I've, I've sort, of like, yeah. sort of like first choice right back. Yeah. Um, are you pleased with where he's yeah, I come him. I love him as a person. I spoke to James Coppinger, Don Cassie yesterday, we're in touch with. Gary McSheff, we see here at, at, at Don Cassie. We, we love the kid here. He's, he's a breath of fresh air. You know, he comes in, he wants to learn, he's fit right in. It means a lot to him. It means a lot to him. He's not just a lone player. 
who's trying to find the way. He, he's a lone player who where three points really matter to him and he'd be devastating. And I'm glad that an 18-year-old kid's got man in the match because it shows a few others that, you know, you, you can't just turn up when you want to turn up. And, you know, that's, that's credit to him. Uh, he's made that right back his own at the minute. Uh, but we've got to, you know, we've got to do what Jack's done today because he's run hard and he's got into the final third and he's and he's done his best to create chances and you know he's put some wonderful balls in and, and we've just been on our on our heels and we haven't attacked the post and we, we just we just look flat at the top end of the pitch which isn't us because we score in the majority of our games. Uh, but the, there is a pattern, Tim, in the games that we've lost this season. Every game that we've lost this season has been by the old goal, so we're not far away. Uh, but I'm really disappointed with going out to lose this today. Really disappointed. OK, well, I mean, as we always say, base is Tuesday, it's not far away. It's a great chance to get things back. Of course it is. You know, it doesn't make Sunday, Monday or Tuesday any easier. You know, I can't wait till quarter to eight Tuesday night and, and the people are in the ground and, and hopefully we can, we can, like I said, put the wrongs right uh, on Tuesday and, and do everything we can do because, you know, there's that old adage that lads owe each other a performance or lads owe the club performance, lads owe me a performance and, you know, we, we, I'm sure they will do. I'm sure they'll bounce back. They're, they're a great group, and you know, let's let's put this one behind us. We'll we'll address it. We'll talk about it as a as a squad, as a management team, and we'll try and you know look over the game and, and, and work out what went wrong, and then put it right. Tuesday.